Hello, welcome back. I have actually tried to do um, videos multiple times. I always look like this. I'm always tired. I always have some sort of like t-shirt on that's like gives too much information. That's why my shirt is like this. You know, tonight I didn't pull out my ring light and my mic as much as I would love to. If I don't do it, I'm never going to do it. You know what I mean? That's how it is. So today I'm reading my devotional from this morning that I read earlier this morning. You got this. Uh, 90 Devotions to Equip and Empower Our Working Women by Melissa Horvath. And this is uh, Standing Firm. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against cosmic powers over this present darkness, against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places. Ephesians 6.12 We're in a battle a battle against uh, good and evil every day of our lives. The Bible tells us to be sober-minded and watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Every day we're in a war zone, and we have the enemy who's trying to pull us away from God and what's good. The evil one makes false promises, and he wants us to think of what matters in this world, not what matters to God. <clears throat> the enemy is unfortunately very good at this. He causes confusion and chaos, and before we know it, he can feel attacked on all fronts and choose to travel the wrong path, the path that he feels is a forward but closing in on us. During these times, we start to wonder where God is. Are you trapped in this downward spiral today? If so, you're not alone. So many of us have fallen for the evil one's tr tricks. The good news is we already know who wins the war. God does. When I feel under attack, I look to Ephesians 6, 11-17 where it says, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For your struggle is not a struggle of flesh and blood, but it's against the rulers, against the authorities, against powers of dark of this world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. <clears throat> and after you have done that, and after you have done everything to stand, stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Close your eyes and picture yourself in the armor, the belt, the breastplate, holding the shield, and know that the one who's already won the war loves you, will never leave you, and longs to give you all the joy, strength, and hope you need to have a peaceful life. And then down at the bottom it says, you've got this. When you come under attack, remember the armor of God. Sometimes the evil one can be so sly, you don't even know we're in battle. He knows our weakness, and is really good at taking us out of the truth that we know. Instead of falling into his hands, pick up the sword and be ready for the fight. Standing your ground with the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. I think a couple of things is really funny and ironic that I had that um, that one today. Um, just because I, I, a lot of times, I, a lot of times I forget. You know, it even says in the Bible to pray that. You know, pray that prayer of like putting on that armor, and I forget to do that. And it's really easy, I think, especially. I always say, especially in this day and age, because in every day and age, there's prayer needs and importance, for sure. Right now, it just feels like there's so much information that is readily available at your fingertips. You know, we're in the age of social media and it's just, um, that's why I've selected to put this out, uh, to be a light, to offer a word to people that may be interested in it, and you might not, and that's, you know, that's up to you, but for me, it, things, it's really easy to get distracted um, in today's world, especially, and I would really like that to be less of a thing, but it's just not going to be. It's just going to continue to be more distracting in the world that we live in, and it, you can easily get your mind on things of this world, or you can easily forget that you are like in a battle every day of your life. Even though we're feeling the results of it, I mean, the questions that are all going on and just the way that people are feeling these days, 
they're, they're not tying it back. They're not tying it back to that, or they don't even realize that. I actually had a conversation with someone two nights ago about this very thing, about how, you know, this person, this person pretty close to me, this person was talking about, you know, speaking in terms of the spiritual uh, world, but this person is, is really not that familiar with things like that. And they said to me, what would they, I mean, what would they want with me? I mean, you know, it's just not, 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 not important. They got bigger fish to fry out, but that's where they're at with me now. They can have the wrong attitude about it. So they, that's, that's kind of the whole point. You're as valuable as everybody else. And they're like, I know that. I'm like, exactly. So it's not, there's not this pecking order that you have in your mind. It's literally everyone is being attacked regularly. And that's kind of the whole point. You know, and it's just, it's difficult, and it is a battle for everyone. But at least if you know that it's happening to you, you can take a stand, and you can, you know, say your, you, you know, you can pray, and you can, you can guard against it. And I was explaining to this person about, like, teaching my children about prayer and how it's important. You know, and just that relationship in general, not only for, you know, living in this world, but for what's to come. But, you know, I told this person, I said, you know, you talked a lot about exercise and stuff. You're not really into it right now, but one day you will be. You know, you talk a lot about exercise and stuff like that, and that's great. But this is like a muscle. So the more you exercise it, the stronger it gets, you know. And I'm, I'm not the strongest, and I'm not saying that, but that's what I was telling this person. I said, well, that's why it's important for me to teach my children, because I need them to be strong. I need them to be very strong in this, you know, in this um, subject. And they're like, you know, I just never even thought about that, or I just didn't even like really realize that. And even though they're not so familiar about it and some things kind of make them like oh I don't know I don't know about all that I really really respected that that was my stance on it and really really respected my whole take on it and so I wanted to share that and whenever I got that devotion this morning I thought it was so interesting that that was the devotion this morning I felt to feel compelled to share it especially following just that conversation I just had because it was brand new information to that person. And it's easy for the, those of us who kind of know that, it's easy for us to forget it. And so I just thought, and then for some people, it's just brand new information. And that's amazing. Like, it makes you kind of, I don't know, like, I thought, thought we all knew that. But obviously, we don't. So I just wanted to share that information with you. I wanted to thank you for being here. I really want to start putting videos out again. Um, I tried my hand at candle making today for the fourth time, and I'm like, maybe if I can start digging myself out of the hole of projects and work that needs to be done, which I have been working very hard on, maybe I can get back to doing some other things and start the video, doing videos again. Um, I'll do a full kitchen tour. I still do not have a hood up here, um, and I am getting ready, hopefully, Maybe this week, maybe not till next week. I'm not really sure yet. But I will be painting the walls. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And I will, hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.